farm trip complete. Head back home. Got the little ones in the back. Everything was looking good. Weather. We just got. Point minus eight altimeter three zero two zero. Thirty twenty. Monroe Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation. Two, one, 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 Zulu. Weather, wind, missing visibility. One, zero, clear, below, one, two, thousand. Temperature, five, Celsius. Dew point, minus eight, altimeter, three, zero, <coughs> I wonder two, what's wrong with their wind. I don't know. He told me that they were gonna... They need to redo it or what? Hey, go up there, can you hear? Yeah. Okay. Here we go, we're gonna taxi over here and we're gonna do the run up and then we're gonna back taxi and depart on that runway. Eli, can you hear me? Yeah. I can hear you, Dada. Uh huh. That's good, sweet pea. I love you, Dada. Oh, I love you, Koa Bear. Dada. Eli. Do you? Do you even care if someone hits you in the face? Hey Takoa, yeah. can we just not t can we just talk about flying stuff for right now, please? Okay, Dada. Thank you, sweet pea. What time is it, Dada? Buddy, it's three fifteen. Oh. And as soon as we get in the air, Daddy will turn back your guys back on so that we can all talk again. But right now, Daddy's gonna have it all muted. Okay. Okay, Dada. Thank you, sweetie, because we're about to take off. Okay. You guys good to go? Eli, you good to go? Koa Bear, good to go? Yeah. No. All right, babe, you get your door windows all closed. We're pumped up. All right, here we go. DTAF 2305, just double checking that. We got 21 nothing in there. I don't see anybody. Okay, no more talk until we get in the air. We're, we're gonna take off now. All right. Monroe traffic, Twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie's back taxi at 30 for departure, Monroe. Alright, baby, ready? Yeah. Monroe traffic, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie's taking runway 30 for departure to the southeast. We'll do a left turn out, Monroe. There we go, guys. Alright. Power up just a little bit. <laughs> Fuel pumps are on low. Everything is set. 1700. Everything's looking good. And brakes released. Fuel folds all look good. Engines, everything looking good. 90. Time to rotate. Tap the brakes. Air coming up. Warrior 4627 Foxtrot. Downwind, runway 26, late to the helm. Five fuel pumps coming up. 
Hello? And it is sunny. Yeah. Not a cloud in the sky. Can't see the moon real good. We can't see the moon. Alright, yeah, that person. Oh. Lake in the Hills traffic, Warrior 4627 Foxtrot, turning left base, runway 26, Lake in the Hills. That's that guy that's on the approach, he's now below us, so we're going to switch frequencies. <coughs> Alright, Rockford, you know, we're already at 3, we'll just go on up to 55. Okay. Uh, approach left by 1, we're uh, inside wagon. Left by 1, Roger, you're uh, 1 1 miles from the Rockford Airport, clear at Arnav, runway 19 approach, contact number 118.1, good day. Yeah, clear to RNAV 1-9, contact your tower, left by 1, thanks for assistance. Same time. Yeah, I see that guy. Rockford approach, Twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie. Twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie, Rockford approach. Twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie is off of Monroe South Westbound, heading to Aurora, where a Cessna 310 climbing out of 3,500 for 5,500, looking for flight following. Twin Cessna 1, Bravo Charlie, Spot 4242, Rockford Altimeter is 3024. 4242, 3024, 1, Bravo Charlie. Cougar 8-1, which fix did you want to go to for the full procedure? How like? Cougar 8-1, Roger, uh, on the miss, climb maintain 3, or correction 4000, and proceed on, uh, direct to Helix. In Cougar 8-1, there is traffic at your 11 o'clock and about 8 miles southwestbound, 3,100 indicated. Twin System 1, Bravo Charlie, radar contact 7 miles southeast of Monroe Airport, altitude indicates 4,500. 1, Bravo Charlie, and altitude checks. Alrighty. Black goes on in a short flight. We're at 5,500 feet. Got a flight following, got the airplane trimmed up for cruise, we're doing 196 knots. We're only 16 minutes away, so it's time to get the ATIS and get ready to land. We've had one minor fight in the back seat, and everybody's still alive. So, it's a 5-2 Romeo via for altitude to your discretion. 5-2 Romeo, thank you. Hit the ATIS, 25-85. Airport information, Victor, 052 Zulu, wind 3006, visibility 10, sky clear, for 2.9, for altimeter 3021, on every 33 approach, 2114 approach, Rockford 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 all right, babe, we got Victor. How we do? Friendship lady. That was a lot of fun. That was a fun short trip. The boys all got to hang out. Yeah. There, we had our two little boys, and then there are three little boys, or uh, five, all sailor ages. Two, Romeo, if I didn't tell you, clear. Yeah, there's like one or two other little boys who joined us too, but everybody had school and work and stuff. It's hard to really get out, like, outdoors and have a lot of fun during the wintertime farm, but we make, we make the most of it. It's a lot different when it's cold outside. Yeah, for sure. Almost there. One zero Are you sleepy, Colbert? Yeah. There's Rockford. Uh, Zorro at 10,000, Mission 807. Mission 807, descend now to 10,000, then Zorro at 9,000. 
Mission 807, descending now to 10,000 and cross Zoro at 9,000. Is that correct, Mission 807? Mission 807, affirmative. Uh, not much going on right now. Oh, uh, there's nobody in their Delta. And we're up for approach on way 4045. Alright, we're starting to descend. Vector at uh, Dubuque, we're 15,000 to 13,000. Convoy 4045, Rockford Approach, Rockford Altimeter 3024, cross 35 miles east of Dubuque at 10,000. 35 miles east of Dubuque, 10,000, on 445. We have 763 Whiskey Alpha, Rockford Approach, Rockford Altimeter 3024. Over 200 knots. Oh, man. Like a real airplane. Eight minutes. Man, this sure beats driving. I have a lot faster flight than the way over, too. Well. Cessna 61 Delta contact Chicago Center 123.75. Kiddick. Cessna 1 Bravo Charlie, contact Chicago Approach 133.5, also know your aircraft type and destination, good day. 33.5 for 1 Bravo Charlie, good day. Chicago Approach, Point Cessna 771 Bravo Charlie. Point Cessna 771 Bravo Charlie, roger, the altimeter 3021, what's your destination, your type Point Cessna? 1 Bravo Charlie, we're Cessna 310, we're going to Aurora, we have Victor. Thank you. Uh oh, we're losing Coa Bear. Test one Bravo Charlie, traffic one o'clock, four miles northwest, sound type unknown, out to be case 3600. One Bravo Charlie's looking. Oh, just level off for a bit. 300 feet beneath us. What did you say, three miles? Yeah, it's about three miles. One o'clock, three miles. One to two o'clock and two miles. Greater feet beneath us. We are blind. I know. I see a velocity. There he is right there. So one Bravo Charlie path, uh, track path off the right now to factor. Hello. One Bravo Charlie, Charlie Hill. Wow, I didn't think you would say that. Shock approach, Bonanza 19, like November, level 4000. I never saw. That's 1-9 Mike November, I drove. He's, he's off the wing tip right now. Oh, oh yeah. It's below the horizon. He lost the bear of Cove. Eyes just rolled right back right before he left us. <laughs> he gave like a little semi smirk. He got one down, one to go. Twin Cessna 1 Bravo Charlie, traffic 11 o'clock, 7 miles westbound, type unknown, out to the case 3,500. Confirm 1 Bravo Charlie is looking. We got a bunch of stuff coming up here. Yeah, it's the one that, there's only one that's kind of a factor right now. But I got him. Like the cacao, Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, no kid. Lewis was bad. Chicago Walker 255, Romeo Bravo 5000, information Kilo Midway. 255, Romeo Bravo, Chicago Approach, plan Vectors Atlas, Runway 31 Center. We'll just dive below. We'll plan on the Vectors 31 Center, 255, Romeo Bravo. He's at our altitude now. There he is, 11 o'clock and 6 miles at our altitude. I see. Success one Bravo Charlie, traffic now 11 o'clock and 4 miles, indicates 3,600. November 1 Bravo Charlie is looking. Then just keep it on, going on down the road. Trailing 9 or 7, 7 William Alpha, go ahead. 7 William Alpha, 6 miles to the north of Aurora, requesting VFR flight following to Milwaukee, Mike Kilo Echo. There he is. One Bravo Charlie has traffic inside. One Bravo Charlie, thank you. 
977 Lima Alpha, Squawk 5134. 5134, oh, seven nothing. Had a heck of a closure. I mean, I'm doing over 190 knots. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah. Okay. Bravo, you see that airplane? Twin Sets 1 Bravo Charlie, connect Roar Tower, 120.6. 120.6, what's Bravo Charlie? Bravo Charlie, Squawk 5134. How far are we? 10 miles? Um, eight. We're eight northwest. Aurora Tower, Twin Sets 771 Bravo Charlie. Number 771 Bravo Charlie, Aurora Tower. 771 Bravo Charlie, Cessna 310, eight miles to the northwest, inbound for landing, we have Victor. Level YouTube channel. Hey, thanks. Twin Sets 1 Bravo Charlie, Aurora Tower, and at the left, downwind runway 33, report midfield, and ident. Left downwind for runway 33, we're going to report midfield, here comes your flash. Four tower, Remus 123, let me see you, holding short, runway 33. 123, let me see you. Two Cessna 1, Bravo Charlie, I didn't receive it. Two Cessna 1, Bravo Charlie, going to be number 2 following uh, Cessna, entering a 3 mile left base for runway 33, extend and report to African site. November 1, Bravo Charlie, we'll be looking for the Cessna. Cessna 1 Bravo Charlie, widen out your uh, downwind a little bit to follow the traffic. 1 Bravo Charlie, welcome. Oh, there he is. Whoa. 1 Bravo Charlie, we have him inside. Cessna 1 Bravo Charlie, number 2, following the Cessna runway 33, clear to land, wind 29005. Runway 33, clear to land, 1 Bravo Charlie. Cap 1147, for good change, proof. I was way off. We're like over the airport Thanks and so much I'm still looking for it out, like the airport <laughs> out there. And I was like, oh, we're over it. Yeah. All right. How about that one slowing up? There's our friend. Oh, no, we're on the full four eight. Roll me out. Sure. Three three ready for takeoff. Three one four four eight. Romeo Alpha. Aurora Tower. Make reckless traffic. Runway three three. Clear for takeoff. Traffic is Cessna and a two mile left base. Yeah. Runway three three. Clear for takeoff. Right traffic. Four four eight. Romeo Alpha. I just needed to take my glasses off. I saw him right away. Of course, he was like right off our nose. All right, well, we got gas, undercarriage. I just don't really want to go around. Sierra, extends your downwind, you're going to be number three, following a twin Cessna and the extended left downwind to runway 33, report traffic in sight. Number three, following a Cessna, uh, one, two, three, let me see her. Tell me we lost him. No, I got him. Okay. Tower one, Bravo Charlie, the guy we're following, we're going to be S-turning to follow. Is he a uh, full stop or do you know what kind of landing he's doing? Cessna 5 Juliet Alpha, make your uh, option low approach only on the go, make right close traffic. Low approach only, we're on the go now for 5 Juliet Alpha. Cessna 1 Bravo Charlie, uh, traffic ahead of you, going to be a low approach only runway 33 clear to land. I see him. 1 Bravo Charlie, thank you much, 33 clear to land, we're turning in now, thank you. Manza 4 Niner Echo, no need for the 4 mile report. Enter the, uh, break off your approach prior to runway, uh, 33 and enter the left downwind for 33. Roger, break off the... I just thank you for that. I thought we were, I thought 36 was 33, I was like, what are you doing? I'm on the right close. Roger, Alpha, affirmative. I'm done. Roger, Alpha. Traffic inside from left post traffic, run, uh, runway 33, 133, let me see here. 33, let me see here. Number two, following the twin Cessna, runway 33, clear to land, wind 290 at 5. Clear land following the Cessna 133, let me see her. Remote say Romeo Alpha, number three following a remote ahead of you in the downwind, you have that traffic in Holy birds, holy. Oh. Sorry. I didn't, there was just way too many to try to think about Remote it. Remote say Romeo Alpha, Aurora Dowd, you have the uh, remote traffic ahead of you in sight. 
Head Tower, one Bravo Charlie. There's a large flock of birds right at the glide slope there on final we just passed. One Bravo Charlie, copy. And uh, Twin Cessna, or copy. Remo say Romeo Alpha, Aurora Tower, how do you copy? Say Romeo Alpha. Remo say Romeo Alpha, you're going to be number three following a Remo ahead of you in the base. Do you have that traffic in sight? Traffic in sight, full for Romeo Alpha. Remo say Romeo Alpha, number three following that Remo's runway 33, clear for the option, wind 2905. Number three, clear for the option, say Romeo Alpha. Cessna 5 Julian Alpha, extend you downwind, I'll call your base. 5 Julian Alpha, Roger. Remo 3, let me see you. Okay. And uh, Remo 3, let me see you. Use caution for a flock of geese uh, reported about a half mile off the end of the runway. Cessna 1 Bravo Charlie, turn left when able and contact ground point 7. Left when able, ground point 7, 1 Bravo Charlie, thanks. And four echo is downwind. And the four nine echo number three following a uh, Remos on about a uh, two mile final runway uh, three three. Do you have the traffic in sight? Uh, negative four nine echo. Again, like I uh, thought. Pick him up. I thought there was like four nine echo. It's so funny. And the 49er Echo, you're right. number three following uh, Remos That's runway. 3-3, three, three, clear to land, went 2 9 0 5 Ground point 7. Oops, sorry. We're up, ground. Aurora ground, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie's clear and runway 3 3, taxiing to Skyhaven. Twin Cessna 1, Bravo Charlie, runway uh, take to Skyhaven via Bravo Alpha, hold short of 2 7. Bravo Alpha, hold short of 2 7, November 1, Bravo Charlie. Polar bear wasn't faced by the birds. No, oh, didn't bother. Those birds were. It was just. I, if it's one little fire. bird, yeah. They if were it's like just one little bird. Look at all these planes. If it's just uh, one little bird. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just like, all right, you know, they're, you know, you're not going to do a whole lot, but that was a lot that of birds. That would have been a bloodbath. A, a bloodbath. Just, just blood everywhere. Yeah, that's why I pushed the nose over so hard, which, you know, is not the most comfortable thing in the world, but. Oh, he's, Not, he's going around. Uh, somebody, I said they liked our channel. We appreciate y'all. Glad you guys are enjoying it. Roar's busy now. Well, we were number one, and that guy just landed. Well, we weren't number one. We were number here. two, then three, uh, four, five. Yeah. All right, we're coming up on. We had at least five in the past. Yeah. I said report midfield uh, down one, which I, we didn't because he told he was, us to widen out. He <laughs> when was talking. We got there. Yeah, he was just talking so much. All the stuff he had going on. All right. I was useless, babe. I couldn't find any airplanes. I couldn't <coughs> find the airport. I thought 3-3 was 3-6. I was highly confused oh. <laughs> for a second. Right. November 1, Bravo Charlie, cross runway uh, 27, hold short of 3-3 on Alpha. 1, Bravo Charlie, cross runway 27, we'll hold short of 3-3 on Alpha. And number 4 9 Echo, follow that aircraft, cross 27, hold short of 3-3 on Alpha behind them. Alpha, 3-3 on Alpha, and Roger, 4 9 Echo. It's so different when you're, you know, in the tower and like the depth perception and perspectives and, um, you know, your agenda is different than each individual pilot that's out on the airfield. Yeah. But it's so easy to like, and so when we joke around and we talk about, oh, we could have crossed when the Bonanza did or whatever, you know, it's, we're fine. We're just bringing up. Just because, like, right now, I could have easily crossed in front of this guy because I was still moving. But, you know, it's... I don't know if I would have done that. Oh, uh, well, as a controller, maybe not. There's that flock coming back. But I mean, oh, yeah, I see him. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, 
there's all sorts of times for the pilot to be thinking, oh, why is there traffic doing this? But, you know, they've got a bigger picture sometimes. They've got, well, we, like that guy might have had a really tight void window, so they just wanted to make sure that we didn't lollygag across. Bada boom. These two are snug. Bada boom, boom, boom. I was about to say, you only need 1,500 feet between them, but that's Oshkosh. You only need 3,000 feet between them. That's one and echo on about one Bravo Charlie. I'm sorry, it's going to be a minute. Just hold short. Three, three. One Bravo Charlie, no worries. Air echo. Act. We brought a Snickers. <laughs> At least I know you won't get angry. <laughs> <coughs> I'm not even understanding what... So oh, this one's gonna land and this one's just gonna fly over. Oh, no, you already set up around. Oh. Um, I mean, we're just on a different frequency, but I'm quite certain they set up around. They weren't gonna have 3,000 feet. Yeah. Alright, number one Bravo Charlie cross runway 33 at Alpha. One Bravo Charlie cross and runway 33. 49 Echo cross 33 at Charlie at Alpha. Roger, 49 Echo. I can't. We're going to have to ask about 1-8 because he didn't specify and I don't remember if it's like permanently closed or what. Okay. Give, give him a chance. I know, I just don't want to... There's one holding... I don't want to stop again. Okay. And for one Bravo, Charlie, can we cross runway 3-6? Affirmative, uh, cross runway 3-6, one, one Bravo, Charlie, and 4 9 echo cross runway one eight three six. 3 Fire echo. One Bravo Charlie. Yes, I see the parking. Have a nice day. Thanks for the patience. See ya. Well, that was a fun flight. It was quick. It was uh, smooth. We had a tailwind. We got to our uh, home sweet home pattern. I love my Before home. sunset. That airport is so nice. I love that little FBO. Yeah. yeah. The airport manager there at Monroe, he was super nice too. He told me, he's like, dude, next time just give me a shout and I'll. We'll keep it in the hangar for you overnight. Yeah, he's, he's the airport manager? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's super cool.